Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever. Right, I got one here coming up now to Malmo Storage. Let's see what happens when he delivers into the storage. So he's going to come into here. I've got that bit right there, and then we've got you over there. So he's just gone and spent that. He brings it up here and dumps it out. Like that. But then what about line usage? No. Details. Stored one food. Is the food storage not being used anymore? Stored foodstuffs. Or does it go directly from here to be spread between the cities? Is that maybe what it's doing? Let me see. When it unloads here, I want to see what happens to... So I've got 26, 20, and 39% on those at the moment. So this one is now coming in. And it's going to sell a little bit of food. 27, 26, 20, 39. Has anything changed up here? So I don't know if it's just a dead end. I've got... Ooh, I've got a double-ended train right there. The crocodile. It's interesting. Now it's changed a bit, but is that other vehicles that are doing that change, or is it the Line 6? I, so I don't really know what's going on with that, and if I look back... Uh, this food is still alright. That's still happening. Production 120 foot. That's still happening. So it seems to be that it's doing okay up there. So I'm going to build a new line over here. I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go with the truck stop right here, and I'm going to whiz that one around like that. Uh, drop that one there. And then I'm going to transfer it over to that one. I'm going to do just a line between these two. I'm not going to do anything else. So we're going to go line manager up there. Line 13 is going to go that one over to that one. It's simply going to do a run between the two. Central and exchange. That's what they're going to run. I'm going to put five vehicles onto that one. So I'm going to go by road vehicles here. We go back with the reliable bends. One, two, three, four, five. And then set line all. And you're going to go with a new line 13 over there. So that should work going that way. I if I need to set anything in particular. I'm up to 16 million. We are making a decent profit on quite a few of these. So line 12 over here, the bus right there is going to be that one. And I'm going to go OK there and switch that one on like that. And then you down here, the bends. That one, I'm going to go with the bends again. OK, and switch that one on. And you're going to go as well. Line 12 is not profitable at the moment, but we've only just started that one up. The others... All of the other lines are running at a profit. Everything is running at a profit. Except for the two brand new lines because they haven't actually done anything yet. The Malmo is... Oh no, it, it's now got some food. It's coming up through. And the rest of them seem to be right. So let's hurry things along a little bit. And we will see what happens with this one over here. Waiting at station. Line 13. This one's not doing anything yet. I haven't got, got any food over here. I thought he said it was pigs. I'm sure he said it was pigs on there. Right. Well, if you're going into here, and that one's going up to... Line 13 and line 6 are going into Malmo Central. Continually supply the cities. Stockpiles have gone. Directly... Oh, directly to the cities. That's outstanding there. Okay. Continually supply... At least 10 foodstuffs over a period of 60 months. Uh, I've done 10 months in a row. Right, so I've got food over here, and I'm going to have that sent to the central storage location, and we'll see whether or not that's going to be a thing that's going to work. So you've gone in there, which hasn't done anything. I'm going to assume line usage, no. Stored 20. Number of items currently in stock, 29. So why aren't you bringing it out here? Zero of eight. That's zero of eight as well. 
It's not being brought over to here. Is that because it's not supposed to be? It's not supposed to be going over to Malmo Central anymore. So look at you. Lines. It's not. That's why. That's why we're not supposed to be using that one anymore. Right. That one doesn't do anything. So what I want to do then is... If I'm going to take that to each of the cities, line six has got to go. So first up, we need to go to line six. We're not doing anything with line six. Line four and line five are not doing anything either. Um, you're not supposed to be carrying anything at all. So send all vehicles to depot for line six. Line 13, a brand new line over here. That one I'm simply going to alter for a minute. I've got five vehicles on there. You can go return to depot. I will put you return to depot and you can return to depot as well. Like that. Line 13, Malmo Central, I will get rid of. And I get rid of that one, and that one, and that one. Line 13 has got two vehicles on it at the moment. I'm going to change this so that Malmo Exchange comes over to this one over here. I go to there, and you're going to go down to there. I got two vehicles running that one. I want two vehicles running that one there. So that's line 13. That's all I need to do with that one. Then line six, this line needs to be changed. So we don't want the Malmo Central up here. That one, I want to get rid of that one. Malmo Transfer, I still want to be using that one. No, I don't. That one is going to be gotten rid of as well. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go from the farm there and I'm going to take... All the way up to that one there and this one i'm going to put Ooh, how many should we put onto it so you right here set line six i'm gonna put five i've got two on the other i'll put five on this one and i'll put five on the other line as well so you right there set line six um these incoming ones this works well I'll also set these to empty only. So that one there is only empty. And then the Malmo exchange will just be whatever it is. I'm not going to sit there and wait for full loads. So that's that one done. And then I need to build another new line to go from the Malmo exchange up to the other one. So it's this one down here where the farm is supplying the food. We need one more new line. Right there, and it will be there, Malmo Exchange. And you are going to go up to that one right there, Gottberg Sidings. Gottberg Sidings is going to be empty only, and then the rest will be as it is. And the other line that I set in here, which was line 13, that one needs to be Malmo Branch, unload only. There. That one will stay like that. And then I need to just transfer these vehicles into line 14. Line 14 has got four vehicles on it. I'm just going to go and have a look at it. Right, I don't have anything in the depot. And I've also got none incoming in the depot either. So I'm going to buy one more Benz right there. Like that. And road vehicle number 97 is going to assign line 14 as well. So we've got... All of those on line 14. Line 14 over here is empty only up there. And the only other thing that I need to do with line 14 is select a vehicle for replacement like that and switch that on. So we've got automatic replacements all the way through. Our passenger services, they are running at a profit. Line 4 and line 5 are the only two that are not running at a profit. Line 5... Jop copying south, which is uh, full load any. I'm going to go full load all on that one. So it's only running those with full lines, uh, full loads. And then you here, Malmo sidings. Then go Malmo branch, Jop copying branch, and Gottberg sidings. I'm 
possibly taking everything. So I'm taking from the sidings, and then I'm heading off everywhere else. So Malmo sidings, we want that to be a completely full load. That's got to be a full load before you go disappearing off. But the question is, does it sell everything when it gets immediately to the next one, or does it take some on to a further location? That's the bit I'm not sure about. Months in a row of the stored foodstuffs, that has not worked. I need to supply Gottberg with a better supply of food. The Gottberg run is not sufficient. So let's have a look at the Gottberg line. See, these have got five on each, and I think I actually need to increase those to... Uh, we'll, we'll add three more bus, uh, three more vehicles onto each of those. So let's just go into here um, first. Buy road vehicles. Uh, go to you. One, two, three, like that. Uh, set line or line eight, and then do the same again. Buy road vehicles. You one, two, three. Set lines 103 vehicles, set line 9, like that. So there I've got a few extra on the run, which should help to keep all of the different places up and running properly. Down here, I've got a huge quantity of slag and not so much steel. They're not taking the slag away. This is a big problem. So I want more vehicles running line 3 as well. So I go into here. I'm going to buy another six vehicles for line three. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Set line all. You're going to go onto line three, like that. There's a lot of vehicles running line three, but I want to keep these running a little bit closer to empty and keeping everything going along. And then the stone up there, that's not really doing a great deal. And then we can come back down here and we can have a look at this. We've got 46 going out on line four down there. Um... Uh, 16 here details I've got there's a load of stone I'm waiting for I need to get more materials in so we want some more uh, vehicles out on the quarry line as well let's go in and have a look at that by road vehicles the bends one two three four five more there set line all that's line five is the quarry line we get a few more of them up and running. That should help keep the profits spinning. The other thing is, should I bring a road across here? That's a big piece that I'll then cut out of that quarry line. And that could also save us a nice lot of money. So I'm, I'm going to do that because I've got some spare money. I have got spare cash now floating around. Uh, where's the best place to put this new road? Around that way? I'd say probably just across here. So I want to try and bring it along the side of there. So we will go to you and we'll go for a medium country road and I'll go like that. And then this medium country road needs to kind of go along the side of the cliff along here. This is not an easy, cheap road to build, but I mean, it could be a lot worse than this. I could be spending way more than this. When we looked at it previously, it was going to cost us millions. Right, down to there, and then we go up this way. And then I want to bring that road now. Bring it there, and then over like that. There. This is only a small road in here as well, so I want to bring that one over to there, like that. And then I've only got a small country road there, so I'd like to upgrade this here. So how do you upgrade a road? What's this? Street modification, street. Wait, that's... Oh, upgrade with tram tracks. Medium country road. What's that? Ah, upgrade. That's what I'd like to do. I'll upgrade that bit. And I'll upgrade that bit as well. I may as well upgrade that. Uh, no particular reason. I just want to upgrade it. And I'll also 
upgrade this road along here just to give us more road as we're going through. I've got plenty of spare cash at the moment, so it seems prudent if I'm going to go and do some upgrading to go and do it now. And then we may end up getting a better vehicle sometime soon. And if we get a better vehicle, that would be absolutely fantastic. See, I can upgrade those streets as well. What do I... Oh, I see. It upgrades to whatever you choose it to be on the street. I don't want to do that. So I will put that one. And then you. And then these over here. So, yeah, we've got, we've got sections and segments coming through here. Like that. That's upgrade. Yeah, see, it's down. It's actually downgraded that down through there. I think that'll be all right, though. We do it right back into the town and then collision. There and there. Right, it doesn't like me upgrading that bit, but we don't need to. It's not. It's never actually going to need that bit, so that'll be fine. And then I go up to there. So now, if I upgrade that, is it going to upgrade it itself later on? Or do I just want to change it to medium street speed limit? 60k, four lane street there. Those are already upgraded. These in the middle are not. Two buildings will be demolished if I do. So no, I don't want to, I don't want to be messing around with that. I just want to do the country roads out on the edges. We don't want to be messing around with anything else. So I've done a massive upgrade quantity in there. So let's get rid of those. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. And let's go back to it. So I've now got a load of extra vehicles that have come pouring out of there. We've got more food coming through. This here is now an obsolete bit. We don't need that anymore. It's not going to do anything. Um, so there shouldn't be anything using that at all. We don't have very much using this road here either. There'll be one from there coming down to here. That's going to be it. The only other thing I was thinking of doing is putting train stations between the cities and moving passengers between the cities. It also does depend on our incoming food supply as well. We've got food coming through here with the steel and everything that we've got. I've got extra vehicles coming through and making use of that. Waiting at station. You don't try to ship more. I'm trying to ship more food. You haven't got any. Yeah, I got five there. I got one there. Right, they are they are bringing some food in, but it, it's a bit of a slow process doing that at the moment. So my next project that I kind of want to do here is I would like to have trains going between all the cities. Because we haven't done anything with trains in this build. Not yet. So I've got a train station for passengers. Train station for passengers. Passengers. So I've, I've got a choice between these various different... Uh, Daimler top seater. Right, well, that's no good for all of our cargo. That's just a bus. Um, so I'm not going to go with that. Uh, I'm going to go with this basic train station here. But I'm going to have two plat for t two stations on there. And uh, two tracks on it. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to spin you around like this, I think. And the nearest bus stop I've got is all the way over there. I ought to put this a little bit closer to the bus stop. If I bring that one... Right, I can put that one there like that. Actually bring it around like that. This can be like a dead end track. And that... Well, it... It does sort of reach... It does kind of reach over to there. It's, 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 it's not ideal, though, is it? Um, we can do a different station for this. Terminal station. Train station. What's the difference? That is the end of the line. Well, maybe we should have this one as the end of the line. That would be a, I think that would be a better option. Right, I do that one. End of the line. Right there. And that means I can put it right in there like that. Look, see? I can tuck that one... Way in there, 284,000, that's a bit expensive. 
Mind you, stations are not cheap, are they? So we will drop that one into there, like that. And then I will go from... Let's go and have a look at these others. So where am I going to do this? I'm going to go... I'm going to have a station... We're going to have trains that will go from here. They will go up to a station here. They will loop round to a station over here. And then they will come back in on a track here and come back up to there. So I'm thinking of doing it. So it goes between these two. And then I can have one train going between there and there. Just between the two. And then I can have another train going from here, up to there, over to there, back to here. Would that be the best way to do it? I don't really know. I'm genuinely unsure about this. Let's take a station here and I'll take you. Now, I've got a... Where's the nearest bus station? I've, it, it, The bus station, bus stop. It does depend on the bus stops a little bit, doesn't it? You know what I can do? I can actually just add in another bus stop on this one without too much trouble. What I can do is I can swing that one around like that and I can drop that one down right there like that then I will go in here and I will take another bus stop and I'm gonna no before I do that I'm gonna build some more road I'm gonna go there medium street and I'm gonna bring that medium street out to that point no, I'm going to upgrade that to medium street right there. And then I'm going to come out of that one. You in here, line 11. Right, is there a way that you can't move the lines up and down? Oh, well, actually, does it matter? I want to put a bus stop here. That one there is in the wrong spot, really. So I'm going to need to... Well, first up, let's, let's build a bus stop. Let's do that bit first. Build a bus stop. Bus, tram stop, there. That one... Wants to go as close to that train station. As it, it reaches the train station. That is... Actually, it would be better to go on that one. There. It's slightly closer to the train station up there. And... Then I need to build another bus stop here. I'm going to put it down there on that one. And then I'm going to put one more right there like that. Then I'm going to remove number two and I'm going to remove number one. That one and that one are going to be removed from the bus route like that. And then I'm going to go... Yeah, you're being removed. I'm going to go there. Line 11, like that. And so from Kingsway over here, I want to add in George Street over there. And then I want to add in Kings Road over there. And then Stanley Road is all well and good. That one's on the wrong side. See, if I put that one in there, that's no good. I don't want that. I don't want to be looping it round like that. That's just ridiculous. Uh, so you got to go and I'm going to put one more bus station in and you can you can actually move back a little bit. You can go over here. You can service it a bit better over that side and then I can go to there and I can add that one in on there. So I've now got the loop going round and we are taking into account that we've got a new station. Next I want to put another station up over this side. So we'll go the same again. We'll go with the train station and I will bring that one round. I've got a bus stop right there. I might be able to make use of that. Hmm. Maybe I won't. I'm unable to align terrain down there. I'm going to bring that right up. Because of where it is, this is not quite so. This isn't quite so intuitive. Let's bring you over this way. If I've got a bus stop there, then bringing 
a train station over here, that would be better. And drop one down there like that. All right, that'll go out onto the end of there. So then I can take medium street. I can bring you onto there, and I can take medium street, and I can bring one out onto there like that. Then I can go with a new bus stop right here. That one's got to, actually, it's got to go that side there. So it's right up against the station over there. And then I want to go in here. Um, I don't want to go there. I want to go to you. Line 10. Right. King Street, King's Road. Ah, excellent. That's gone right out onto the end of it. So all i got to do is that and add in one more station onto there. I don't need to do anything else at all. I've got that one now in place. That railway there might be a little bit of a struggle for us. We'll see. So first up, I want to build a track onto here. And take out that side. Construction not possible. Right, well, it's possible to take it to there so that it can go over that road. We are going to need this so that we can see where we need to go it's going to be difficult to bring any station any train tracks out of here that's going to have to go across to there i would say and then we want to start bringing this one along the side of here like that nice straight line over to there I need to get it back up to the... Oh, no, not to there. Over to there. Over to that side. So I want to... Now I want to head across this bit here. 185,000 getting across that bit. This is where it starts to get a bit more difficult. 8,000 up to there. You've gone up over. And then we can start heading down this hill over here. 28,000. Right, which side have I got? I've got the far side, so I need to make sure that this one comes out the far side as well. That's got to go up there. And then I'll take it across the road there on that bit, and then I kind of just want to... 96,000 to join that in. Good gravy. That might be best just to do that like that so then i can take this next one and i just gotta hug it alongside the existing track it does not like it too much curvature which means that you are going to need to come along this way and run a separate one there and then join back it right that's actually okay we'll run the two of them like that and then we can join them back in like this and you're gonna go oh wait what am i doing that for and bring you up there and you go to that one no i want this one now to head down this way to this train so no i don't want that bit going there I get you to this point, and then you're going to come off of that. And you are going to head down here. This is where you're going. You're going to go under there. Like that. Um, yeah, we'll drop under the road there. Let's have a little look here a minute. Right, all the way down here. This Wow. I can do that very, very cheaply, actually. I mean, overall, I got... Six well, folks, that's all we've got time for today. We'll be back again very soon, turning yet more pristine natural landscapes into booming industrial wasteland. But before then, if you enjoyed this video, then could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time... Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.